Chicken is the cheapest and most loved protein in South Africa. But that may soon change as frequent power cuts make it harder and more expensive to produce. Supply to fast food restaurants in particular is being choked. The problem is that we can't get them over the hurdle of being slaughtered and get into the supply chain. The chickens that we currently produce have been on the floor for too long. They've um, uh, consumed more feed, they've grown bigger. And those portions are not the portions that the, the, re, the, the quick service restaurants would like. The spillover effects reach far across the sector. Grudge spending on diesel power generators are eating into the bottom line for retail outlets like butchery chain OBC. Sometimes you try and plan around the certain stages, but other times it just catches you. All of a sudden you've gone up to stage five. Now you haven't planned, but it's having an adverse effect on all our franchise business because people are having to invest more money in fuel to keep these stores running. Consumption has dropped by at least 20,000 tons in the last three years as shoppers battle to cope with rising food costs. That could drop further with prices set to spike again. We've also seen a material increase in price during uh, the period 2021-2022, but that was caused by the increase in the price of maize and the increase in the price of soya bean meal or feed. We have also calculated that load shedding is costing us 75 cents per kilogram. Now, the only way a producer can pay that is to recover that from the consumer. Companies, meanwhile, are holding back on vital investment to grow industries and create jobs so desperately needed. We've actually forsaken opportunities where we feel turnover might not justify the investment. And where before, where there was consistent power, you'd say, OK, it's worthwhile going in and building a business over a few months. Now we just rather walk away from it. The poultry industry is looking at ways to mitigate the impact of load shedding, which includes investment in better technology and energy resources. The energy crisis has, however, sparked concerns over job losses and food security, not just in the poultry industry, but across the entire agricultural sector.